dear students in today's session we are going to see how to solve problems on fourier series under the interval minus pi to pi those who don't watch the uh, video on basics on fourier series you can go to the playlist and watch the video there and come back here let us recall the formula for the fourier series under the interval minus pi comma pi so f of x is defined as a not by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x where a not is going to be 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x dx and a n is going to be 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x cos n x dx similarly b n is going to be 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x sin n x dx next let us recall the property which we have studied in our school days if there is a definite integral minus a to a f of x dx it can be written as 2 times 0 to a f of x dx or 0 if f of x is a even function 0 if f of x is an odd function so using this idea we are going to crack the problem in a simplest way now our concern is the limits are minus pi to pi so i am going to take from minus pi to pi so it can be rewritten as 2 times 0 to pi when f of x is an even function 0 when f of x is an odd function next from the basic video we had a remark that at the interval minus pi to pi f of x and f of cos n x both behave in a similar way therefore if the function is a even function then b n equal to 0. If the function is an odd function, then both a naught and a n is 0. So now using this remark, we can make the problem simple. Let us go into a problem. Find the Fourier series for the function f of x equal to x in the interval minus pi comma pi. Sometime the interval is open, sometime the interval is closed. We have to watch when there is a deduction in this problem in this problem there is no deduction so we don't want to worry about this so let us do step by step step one first we have to write the limits for the given function f of x equal to x the limits are minus pi to pi then step two let us write the fourier series formula for the interval minus pi to pi just now we discussed this formula so write a naught a n b n because even you do some errors or mistakes when you solve the problems, if you write the problem in a very legible way with steps, all the information, there is a more chance of getting good score. Step 3, let us write the property which is going to help us in solving the problem. And step 4, from this property, we have the result that if f of x is an even function, then b n 0. If f of x is an odd function, then a naught and a n are 0. Now we know that our given function is f of x equal to x. So x power 1, this is going to be an odd function. So very good. What we write from the above property, we get a naught equal to 0 and a n equal to 0. Done. So now almost 50% of the problem gets over. Only the remaining thing is we have to find b n. Step 5, we are going to find bn by integrating. Let us write the formula. bn is equal to 1 by pi minus pi to pi f of x sin nx dx. By the property, I can write this as 2 by pi 0 to pi because my function f of x is odd. So, a naught a n 0. bn can be rewritten as 2 times 0 to pi we have already 1 by pi as a constant. So, I am writing like this. f of x sin nx dx. Now, it is easy for us to solve the problem. My f of x is x. Now, use Bernoulli's formula. I think we remember the Bernoulli's formula. u dv is equal to uv minus uv plus uv etc. So, plus minus plus u dash v1 double dash v2 etc. Since here the power of x is 1. Therefore, we are going to get two terms as the output at the end of integration. So, let us integrate this using Bernoulli's formula. Always I will take u as a diminishing function x 
so u dash is 1 and u double dash is 0 then dv is going to be sin nx dx the integration of sin nx is minus cos nx and nx differentiation going to be n similarly v1 when i integrate cos nx i'll be getting minus sin nx divided by n already there is one n so n into n n square now i don't want to find v2 etc because only two term exist so uv u dash v1 let me connect then we can write the formula so now my bn is going to be 2 by pi uv that is x into minus cos nx by n minus 1 into minus sin nx by n square my limits are 0 to pi now as we discussed in the basics video wherever you see sin nx either in the limit 0 to pi or in the limit 0 to 2 pi then my answer is going to be 0 so that means you just close your eyes whenever you see sin x in the integration at the limit 0 to pi put 0 now the remaining thing is this term because this is 0 i am going to write this i am taking this minus outside so minus 2 by pi when i put lower limit my x will become 0 even cos 0 is 1 so when i put my upper limit i am going to get pi into cos n pi by n so now pi pi get cancelled minus 2 by n we know cos n pi is minus 1 whole power n so my bn get over now finally we are going to substitute in the formula f of x is a naught by 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x since a naught a n is 0 i have only b n when i substitute i'll be getting like this i'll take this minus 2 outside and i will write the remaining terms so my f of x is minus 2 summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 whole power n by n sin n x this is my solution next problem find the fourier series expansion for f of x equal to mod x so we know that mod x is an even function and in this problem we have to deduce this infinite series answer is pi square by 8 okay let us go into the problem as usual step by step first the given function is f of x equal to mod x and the limit is minus pi to pi either you can write like this or you can write like this why i am doing this step if you go by steps you never do any errors next step to write the formula one by one a naught a n and b n and step three we are going to write the property for minus pi to pi so i am directly writing the property we know that if f of x is an even function b n is zero and f of x is an odd function a naught and a n is zero but now my problem f of x is mod x so mod x i can write like this x when x greater than zero minus x if x less than zero and we know crystal clear mod x is an even function so if it is a even function immediately i can say that b n is equal to zero so i don't want to solve b n now write the clear information and say by the above property we have b n equal to zero so our job is only to find a naught and a n now also by the property minus pi to pi i don't want to write like this i can write two times this one by pi zero to pi f of x dx since i said my f of x is mod x mod x can be written as x when x greater than zero minus x when x is less than zero so this is good for us if we don't use the property mod x we have to integrate two times like minus pi to zero we have to integrate and zero to pi 
we have to integrate thank god that we have the property so i will integrate only this positive values so i can rewrite like this now 0 to pi my f of x is x integration of x is x square by 2 when i simplify by cancelling this 2 i'll be getting pi square by pi and my a not is pi remember always highlight a not by 2 because this is what we are going to substitute in the formula at the end so a not by 2 is equal to pi by 2 next we have to find an the same thing since bn is 0 a not and an behaves the same so i can rewrite this as 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x cos nx because of the property so we have to mention by property simply okay now in the interval 0 to pi my f of x is cos nx next we have to do bernoulli's integration so as usual we know the formula integral u dv is equal to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 etc since the power of x is 1 my answer is going to be with two terms so u i'll take the diminishing function x u dash is equal to 1 u double dash is equal to 0 and dv is cos nx dx so integration of cos is plus sin nx by n and v1 is minus cos nx by n square next we have to substitute this in the bernoulli's formula uv and u dash v1 i can match so my an is going to be 2 by pi uv that is x into sin nx by n minus u dash is 1 v1 is minus cos nx by n square 0 to pi as i said wherever you see sin in the interval 0 comma pi immediately make it as 0 so only this term i have to simplify so i am showing the steps in a typed version now minus into minus plus this term is 0 so i'll be getting 2 by pi n square when i put the upper limit i'll be getting cos n pi when i put my lower limit i'll be getting cos 0 so 2 by pi n square minus 1 whole power n minus 1 it is better to keep like this because it will avoid errors with negative sign so i am taking this minus outside i'll be getting minus 2 by pi n square 1 minus 1 whole power n this is my an so i'll show the steps to you now we know that bn equal to 0 and an is equal to this and a not by 2 we have found it is going to be pi by 2 now substitute all the three datas in the formula so bn term get 0 this is my f of x so we express f of x equal to mod x under the interval minus pi to pi as a fourier series step pi gets over we have final step what it is detection now i have to deduce this for this i have to take any point in the interval so if the point lies inside it is point of continuity if it is lies outside we say it as end discontinuity and middle discontinuity etc see the basic videos where you have all the ideas about this discontinuity now looking at this equation if i make this cos nx 1 then i can easily get this identity for this i am choosing x equal to 0 since my interval is minus pi to pi this x equal to 0 lies inside the interval therefore it is point of continuity i am going to substitute x equal to 0 in 1 both sides so i'll take 1 by 1 first i will calculate lhs then i will calculate my rhs so when i take my lhs f of x at x equal to 0 so my function f of x is mod x mod x at x equal to 0 it is going to be 0 next we are going for the rhs this is my rhs i am putting x equal to 0 we know that cos 0 is 1 so we will be getting directly this value one now let us see what is going to be happen for this when i put n equal to 1 and 
to simplify the problem just put simple values when i put n equal to 1 it will become 1 minus of minus 1 then 2 when i put n equal to 2 1 minus 1 whole square that is going to be 1 minus 1 0 that means all my even terms i'll be getting answer 0 for all my odd terms i am going to get 2 so when i expand this pi by 2 2 by pi when i put n i'll be getting 1 into 2 when i put 2 i'll be getting 0 for 3 1 by 3 square this numerator term will yield 2 then 1 by 5 square numerator term will yield 2 etc all the even terms will become 0 so that is what mentioned here so now my rhs is ready lhs is ready i am going to take this 2 outside now i will write it simplified version now let us equate my lhs and rhs so lhs is 0 rhs is this now i'll bring this term because i want to prove this so i'll bring this to the left hand side i'll be getting 4 by pi then this infinite series is equal to pi by 2 now i'll push this 4 by pi to the other side will be getting pi square by 8 hence the proof this is what we have to deduct so my answer is pi square by 8 hope you understand student so simple i will just recall step 1 what you have to do identify the limit step 2 is formula and step 3 you write the property in a clear way and step 4 check whether it is odd function or an even function suppose if it is neither odd nor even no other choice you have to solve what all this a not a n b n if it is an odd function very good a not a n zero i have to find b n alone if it is an even function then b n zero i will find a not and a n so using the property you do this and step 5 is to find that a not a n b n etc if the deduction is given this is my step 6 so this is the overview of the problem solving okay students let us see one more problem on this with different deductions in the next video subscribe our channel share to your friends comment if you have any doubts we are there to help you thank you see you in the next video